Hey guys, welcome to our last little lesson. It's not exactly a lesson, it's just going to be a fun activity. Um, you've done a really awesome job during this distance learning and doing all of your work online and especially learning about the Maya people, um, which has been really fun for me. I hope it's been fun for you. And I'm going to show you a little bit of what we're going to be creating. We're going to be writing an ancient Mayan. So I'm going to go and show you the website where you can do this and if you have paper um, this is my name my first name in ancient Mayan hieroglyphics and you can do your name like that or you can do something else you can do a whole phrase you can say your parents name you can write Guatemala or Honduras or where you're from um, so let me show you the website all right, so I'm going to show you how I found how to say my name in ancient Mayan. This is our Mayan translator, and it's going to translate what I typed. So I typed my name, and I said this blue button is translate this. So that's going to be our, our go, our enter button. We're going to click that, and there it is. There is what it says my name is like in Mayan. So you can do your name, you can do something else that you like, maybe you could do something like that you like to drink, or you could do your favorite game, or whatever it is, something from school that you like, you can type that in here and you push this blue button and it'll show you how to say it in Mayan. And what is really cool is that you can also write it in Spanish. So if you think of a word that you like and you know it in Spanish but you don't know it in English, that's okay because you can type it in Spanish. So what should I type in Spanish? Hmm, I will type gato. I will type cat. And then we will translate that into Mayan. And here we go. And then if I want to draw that, I can look at the picture wow that first this first character is really complicated and I can kinda of draw the face that I see Good. How's that look? Maybe not so great, but you can do anything you want. And then I want you to send me a picture of what you draw. And I'll put it on Google Classroom and on Instagram.